players. I'm going to tell you something. I haven't seen these celebrities more shookish since Beyonce came out and said Becky with the good hair was messing with Jay-Z. Baby, every Becky with the good hair was coming out saying that that wasn't me. And baby, everybody is responding to Cat Williams' interview. But here's one thing they're not saying. They're not saying his ass was lying. Child, we got a response from Ludacris. We got a response from, from um, Ice Cube. We got a response from Kevin Hart. All these people are responding, and none of them have said that he was lying. I mean, even Ricky Smiley, he didn't say that he was lying. But, child, baby Luda came out and hit some bars on him. Whatever's heavy on my heart is always on my mind. Like Snoop's cannabis shredder, I'm always on my grind. They throwing shade because niggas can never take my shine. I bring my watch collection on my jet. Let me take my time. Like fine wine, I'm aging like Benjamin. Top five, I'm worth mentioning. Bring me rappers, I'm lynching them. See the pendulum swing, Jesus with diamond thorns. Ludacris, swaddled in Gucci linens when I was born. Never been Illuminati, only a Illuminati. And I only left with bitches when coming from any party. Now I'm married with kids, the evolution of life. Never been a clout chaser, never say shit for likes. R.I.P. John Singleton. You never have to flex when you earn every one of your Fast and Furious checks. Afro with the sideburns. Yeah, that's my signature. Addictions on the rise. Comedians check your temperature. Look, I ain't gonna hold you. Ludacris got some bars, but the congregation of the internet streets is still marching. They saying that baby Cat was telling the truth. So, I don't know. We also got a response from Phase of Love. As we know, Cat Williams called him a fat phase of a lie. <laughs> he just basically said that Cat was calling out for help and all this kind of stuff. Again, he didn't say that Cat was lying. I mean, did if you said that it was easy to get a Netflix special and you ain't got one, the math ain't mathing and the buttermilk ain't clean. That's my opinion. Now, we also got a response from Ice Cube. Now, y'all saw Cat rode for Ice Cube. You know, when people were saying something about the pay. You know, he was standing up for Ice Cube in that regard, but he wanted to clear up the the portion of it where Cat uh, was talking about the grape scene in the uh, Friday After Next movie. Cube also threw some shots at the end saying that he put a bunch of people in movies, but none of them have ever put him in one. I'm going to go ahead and keep it a stack. That's true. Cat was 100 on, on a few things. I just want to clarify. When we bring in a new, you know, comedian, um, we do have them try out for different roles. So Ricky did um, give Money Mike a shot. He decided that he would be a better, uh, you know, Santa Claus, uh, which was to me the perfect casting. Um, when we saw M M Mike, I mean, uh, <laughs> damn, I call him Money Mike. When we saw Cat, you know, when I saw him, he, I just knew that he was perfect for Money Mike. Uh, you know, said he wrote his role, which, I mean, the role was written, but he enhanced it. This is why Cat um, was so dope in the movie. You know, Money Mike had a small role, you know, about as big as the Santa Claus role, but when we start filming, he was giving us such magic that we kept expanding his role. But once we get what we need from the script, we let the comedians ad lib, riff, you know, play with the words, do their thing. Second thing I want to clear up: it was never, I would never shoot a rape scene. Uh, in a movie, especially like Friday, um, where you actually see this happening on camera. That plier joke was always in the script. You know, it was never, um, we would never ever show that, you know. I put a lot of people in movies, but they ain't never put me in a movie. So you can take that for what it's worth. You know what I'm saying? I've given a lot of these guys opportunities. I still act, so I'm waiting for a call. All right, players, so that's what Ice Cube had to say regarding the situation. I already gave you guys the responses from Kevin Hart, Ricky Smiley, and Cedric the Entertainer. So I want to know what you all think. Put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Movo reporting for the Blackfoot News.